for the nakedness of my lips, the first thing that I wanted to give you guys a first impression on is a lip product. Again, because it's a first impression, you guys are going to get my full 100% reaction, um, opinion, everything about this product because I've never tried it before. So I originally saw a review of this product on Glam Life Guru's channel or Tati's YouTube channel. Um, she actually said it was a dupe for one of the new Urban Decay matte lipsticks. So I wanted to try it out and see if it was true. I did actually get the Urban Decay matte lipstick too in my last Sephora haul, which I am planning on doing a video of and putting up on my channel. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that one as well. So here's my first impression. So with first application, it definitely goes on like very velvety. It's hard to talk at the same time. Definitely goes on very velvety though. And the applicator, the tip of it is actually very pointed, so it's very easy to actually apply this lip product at the same time. So initially, I really love this color a lot. I think it's a gorgeous color for fall, so I'm really happy with my color choice. Um, I think that this stuff applies like a dream. It definitely gives you a matte finish. I can see this drying down to more of a stain finish. I will let you guys know if that is the case. Um, but with that said, if it does dry down to a stain finish, it will mean that I won't have to apply this as regularly, or I should say reapply this as regularly as I would have to a lipstick or a gloss or anything like that. So I really, really, after at least initial first impression, I really, really do like this product. So the next two things I want to talk about are these mascaras. I did pick them up because CoverGirl was having like buy one get one or something like that. So I grabbed the Lash Blast one. This is the one I use on all of my makeup clients. It is the waterproof version. So I'm not going to do an impression of this one because it is for my clients. I don't use this one personally on myself or myself myself. Um, I do use the regular version on myself. I do not use the waterproof. But um, I do love this mascara. I think it's amazing waterproof or not, I think it's one of the best mascaras you can buy at the drugstore, so I really highly recommend this one, but I'm not going to break this one out of the packaging for you. This one, however, I have already broken out of the packaging, I just couldn't resist, I had to try it out, and I am wearing it today, and I absolutely love it, it is the CoverGirl, the Super Size Mascara, um, it, like I said, I had broken out of the packaging, so I kind of cheated and put it back in, so you guys could kind of see what it looked like, but I have since used it, it is a wonderful mascara. Especially for a drugstore, I really, really like this. Um, it does have a very unique wand. Definitely one of the most unique wands I've seen on the market so far. Um, it has very, very short bristles. Uh, but I really like those because you get really, really close to your lash line. It can really build up a lot of volume at the base. Those are my favorite kind of lashes to have at any time. Sure, I like length and all that, but I really am a huge volume fan when it comes to mascara, so this mascara is just perfect for me for that reason. So the other L'Oreal product that I picked up again, because I think it was also buy one get one, is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Luminizer. I got the shade myself, I got the shade Rose. I wasn't sure if this would go well with my skin tone, I just thought it was super, super pretty. Um, so I did actually was able to swatch it in stores, and I thought it was so stunning. Um, so there it is on my hand right there. I have not actually personally used this yet. I am a little bit more of a combo oily skin tone, so I have been very afraid to use liquid illuminizers just because I don't want my foundation to break up on my face, to look splotchy, to look gross, and to add an element to that that might do that it really freaks me out. But I just have heard such wonderful hype about this lately. So we are going to test it out right now to see just what it does to my cheekbones. So I'm using the Real Technique stippling brush just to stipple this on my cheekbones. I think it is super pretty so far. Like, I mean, I already have some on my cheeks already, so it's already probably just meshing well with it. But I can see, you know, putting this on first and then going in with my Becca one, which I do have the Champagne Pop one from Jaclyn Hill. Absolutely adore it, and that was part of a previous Sephora haul as well. So here's it for my forehead. I'm not really big on illuminators on my forehead, but I know I do not have anything there right now, so this part here is definitely our first, you know, a true first impression on my forehead. And I'm really liking it. It's definitely giving me something, but it's very subtle. And again, I'm sure the camera's not really picking up on it, but it is a very, very nice glow that it's giving me, and it's super, super subtle too. Nothing too ridiculous and over the top, nothing too strobey. I know that's all the hype right now, and trust me, I'm on that bandwagon myself. But I like how this shade is just a little bit more universal. It definitely just, I just think it's super, super pretty. Next, I actually have found an in-store coupon for these, and these are like my favorite press-on nails 
probably of all time. It is the Kiss Gel Fantasy Ready to Wear Gel or yeah, Ready to Wear Gel Set. So I got these ones here that have like a blue sparkly tip to them because these are I, these are the first time I ever saw them. I thought they were so unique and so pretty. Um, so these are the ones I picked up. I honestly have been using nothing but press on gel nails the last couple months. I've been so lazy about actually like physically taking time to sit there and paint my nails and give myself a nice manicure and stuff. I've just been saying screw it, let's just break these out, put them on, they last longer, especially the way that I do it. I just don't want to monkey around with actually painting my nails. So this is why I've kind of reverted to using just these lately. I do really, really love these type of nails. If you guys are looking for an easy solution instead of painting nails or you know going to the salon to get a manicure, I highly recommend checking these out from your local drugstore. So I also snagged up a couple pairs of false lashes, mainly again for my makeup kit. These are the natural multi-pack Ardells. These are the Demi Wispies. They always usually come in about a four pack. So these are the ones I typically snag up for all my makeup jobs just because I have a lot to work with in one setting instead of getting a bunch of individual lashes. And I did grab up two other lip products from the drugstore. These are the new Milani Matte Lipsticks. I grabbed the shades Matte Love and Rose Femme. So again, I'm going to put both on so you guys can see what my first impressions of them are. So far, any kind of reviews that I've heard from other YouTubers or online or you know, blogs in general, have all been super, super positive, so I'm very excited to try these ones out myself. So before I try on the other lips, I just took off the um, L'Oreal one, and as you can see, it does leave a very nice stained effect, and I wiped it off with a makeup remover wipe, so I kind of even like it, you know, really wiped off and just the way it is. It looks very natural. So the first one I'm going to try out is the lighter one. This is the Rose Femme one, just because I think it'll be easier to wipe off and show you guys a real first impression of it. So I noticed right away I love the smell of these. And I actually love the I think I love the smell of like the original ones too. Definitely the lip glosses smell amazing from Milani. So upon first application, this is definitely a My Lips But Better shade. It looks extremely dark in the tube, as you can see right here, and even like when I swatch it on my hand, it looks a little bit darker, but on my lips, it actually like it looks very natural and very nice. I really, really like this. Again, this is a stunning shade for fall. I absolutely love this. It's so pretty. Yeah, I made such awesome lip selections this time at the drugstore. I love both of the ones I've tried so far. I really, really am digging this lip. So you guys might see a lot more of this in future videos as well as Instagram, maybe Snapchat posts, that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to be trying out this one is Matte Love. So as you guys can see here, it's just a really pretty wine red color. I really, really like it. So we're just going to dive right into this. Again, this is like a wine red color, but it's not like overpowering. It's like, I don't know. These like lipsticks almost have like a blurring effect. Like they look very smooth and just like, I don't know, like photoshopped on my lips. They're amazing. They don't feel drying at all. They feel very moisturizing, but they definitely are more of a matte finish. I mean, there's definitely no gloss to my lips right now. So, so far, five stars for all the lip products that I've tried. If you guys have tried out these brands too, and these, well, both of these lines, and can recommend me any other shades from both of them, again, please let me know down in the comment section because I definitely want to grow my collection after this first impressions video of these. Okay guys, the last two products I'm the most excited to show you guys and do first impressions of. Walgreens right now is having a super duper sale on all of their Disney Princess um, collections. So I was able to grab up the Pocahontas Storybook as well as the Ariel or the Dare to Dreams um, eyeshadow quad. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the Dare to Dream eyeshadow quad. And this is again the Little Mermaid or the Ariel one. I have not swatched any of these. I have no idea what the wear is. Um, I do have the Elsa palette, so I know that the shades are pretty good, especially for drugstore. I think that they're fabulous for anyone starting out with makeup if they want to experiment with shadows, with colors, and have it pretty much be in an all-in-one kit. So here's what the quad looks like right here. If you guys can tell, the Little Mermaid or Ariel's right here in gold on the front. And then when you open it up, here's what the quad looks like. So you get this pinky shade, which I was really attracted to, this like dark, uh, this is like a navy blue shade with some sparkle in it. 
you get a matte purple one right here, which is like a bright, almost like a Barney purple. And then you get a matte white shade right here. And then this pink shade up here, I didn't mention, but it has a little bit of shimmer in it too. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch these and I'll let you guys know what I think about the quality, the consistency, the pigmentation, everything about them. So just initially swatching these on my fingers, these do go on pretty buttery smooth. Um, I don't find really any of them chalky except for maybe the white one a little bit. So those are them right there. So I'm going to swatch them on my hand so you guys can see. So the only one that I feel is a little bit on the chalky side is the white one. Um, the black one and the, pe or sorry, the navy blue one and the peach one I think are super, super pretty. Um, the navy blue one comes off a little black. That's why I was confused at first because it definitely comes off black. I don't really see any shimmer initially in either of them even though they definitely do have it in pan. Um, the purple one, while I think it's very pretty, it definitely is a shade I think I'm going to have to build up a little bit because it doesn't show up as visibly as I think it should. I just swatched it again so it's a little bit more visible. So that might be the one that will fade the quickest, but I think that that peach shade is amazing. I think that the dark color is amazing. And I think the white one can definitely be worked with. Um, definitely could be a really nice brow bone highlight, um, an inner corner highlight. So I don't really know how all these shades will work together. I mean, I can really see the dark shade, the peach shade, and the white shade working the best together. I'll have to see with that purple shade. I'm just not really sure where it fits within this quad. If you guys would like to see me do an eye look with this quad, I could definitely figure out how to incorporate all these colors together and put together a very nice tutorial for you guys if you would like to see it. Um, I can also do the same for the Pocahontas one that I'm about to show you guys. So here's the Pocahontas storybook. So you see Pocahontas here on the front. On the back it just shows you all the ingredients and everything like that. Um, there was other parts of this collection too, but this is the thing that definitely I was the most attracted to and what I really wanted to pick up. So when you initially open the book, it shows you here a day and a night look that you can do. Um, it gives you like a full step-to-step -step tutorial for it. I really think that the night look is super hot. I really, really love that. Um, the day look, I'm not, eh, it's, it's okay, but the night look I'm probably the most attracted to. But in general, what attracted me the most to this palette is the warm jewel tones. I absolutely love it, and sorry you guys if the lighting's all messed up. I absolutely love these warm jewel tones. I cannot get over how incredibly beautiful they are. So when you peel back the plastic covering, these are the shades that you see right there. Um, so you get one, two, three, so you get nine shadows at the top. You get a eyeliner pencil, you get a lip gloss, and then it looks like you get a looks like you get two cheek colors, but this one is definitely more of like a warm, I don't know, like almost like a very neutral tone, very flesh tone kind of a blush, and then you have the bronzer down here. So let me just swatch all these out for you guys so you can get my first impression of them. So just initially swatching my finger into the quad. Um, I have noticed a little bit more chalkiness than the quad that I showed you guys previously, which is part of the um, Ariel collection, <sighs> especially in this like taupey, like green brown shade right there. That was definitely really choppy on my hand. Um, this blue shade right here, this like icy blue shade, is really super pretty. And then this orange shade, which is um, this one, is called Winnipego. This one doesn't come off as pigmented as I would have liked to see a peachy shade. This is the next row right here, these three shades, these a little bit darker shades. So the dark brown shade right here is called Sycamore. The one in the center, which is like this really beautiful, like a maroon red color. This one is called Warrior. And then this like very jewel tone, like sapphire blue color right here. This one is called Ripples. So. This row is super pigmented, a little bit chalky in first application. I did have to blow off a lot of excess shadow, but super, super pigmented compared to the last row. So I think that those are absolutely stunning. Okay guys, so this is the last row right here. It's I'm trying to turn my arms so you guys can see. So it's these three shades starting from here. So this is kind of like a goldy, um, bronzy color is called Willow. This red color here is called Headstrong. And then this like electric, like light blue, sky blue color here is called River Bend. I would say definitely these red shades are my favorites. Um, I definitely like these two darker shades here. The, the Willow shade, which is that like coppery gold color. And then this color here called Sycamore, which is this dark brown color. I think are so pretty. So 
I'd be very interested in doing a whole um, eye look for you guys with this palette as well if you would like to see that on my channel. I think that these colors are super, super pretty. So here are the cheek colors, the eyeliner, and the lip gloss swatched out for you guys right there. So the two cheek colors, um, this is the blush here, and this one is called Sweet or Sun Sweet Berry. The bronzer is called Voices of the Mountain. The lip gloss is called Always Be With You. And then the um, eyeliner is called New World Smolder. Um, I would say that my favorite thing out of all four of these is definitely the cheek color. I really love that shade, that sweet sunberry. I think is so stunning. Um, this bronzer I would definitely be interested in trying out, especially for contouring because it is a little bit, I don't really see any shimmer in it per se. Um, it is a little bit, if there's any shimmer, it's definitely like a very pearlized. It's very, very subtle. So I would definitely be interested in seeing if I can use, use it as a contour shade. Um, the lip gloss is very pretty. It's definitely a little bit more bubblegum pink than I like. And I'll let you guys know what I think about this lip gloss in general. Um, the other one in the Elsa kit I really liked, so I'm sure I'll like this one just as much. And then here's the eyeliner here, which I think is very similar to the Elsa kit one that I have as well. Um, which surprisingly was very ni nice and soft and smooth when it went on, even though it is a pencil one that you have to sharpen. So that's it, guys. That is everything for my recent drugstore haul and my first impressions. I'm so glad that you guys joined me for this video today. If you guys have been loving any products from the drugstore that you recommend me try out as well, please leave me a comment down below in the comment section. Um, as well as anything that I asked you guys throughout the video, leave me more shades of those La Matte lipsticks of the Milani lipsticks. I would love to try out more of those because that was probably what I was the most impressed with throughout this entire video was how amazing those lip products were. You guys can also follow me on all my social media channels. I will link all of them below. Uh, but the main ones you guys can follow me on are my Facebook. I usually update that every single day as well as I check it every single day. Um, my Instagram, I've been so good about posting selfies lately, so I hope you guys have been following me there as well. Um, my Twitter, I just recently joined Snapchat. I know I've waited forever to actually jump on that bandwagon but I absolutely love the app now that I have it so I will leave my username below so you guys can follow me there as well as well as please leave your guys' usernames in the comment section so I can follow you as well I love snapchat this has probably become my favorite app of all time on my phone right now at least for right now I will probably have a new one next week but I love snapchat so I'd love to follow you guys there as well thank you guys so much for watching this video today I think the next one that's going to be up on my channel is my Sephora haul so make sure you guys stay tuned for that um, but until my next video guys I will catch you later bye everybody